Hey what's up guys welcome to Lawyer Tips. In today's video we are going to refactor a code and make sure there are no duplicates. Let me show you what we are doing over here. So this is the home controller which is going to the home directory and if we see here it is like this. It has a join date and a birth date and we have date pickers over here. Now if you go here in the home controller inside the welcome this is using a default layout which looks like this. Here we have a slot and whatever we pass from here it will be injected inside it. And here we have two date pickers, join date and birth date. And let's see inside the date picker. So here the date pickers looks like this. We have a link and this is the link to a flat picker library. And this is the script. And here is the code to show the label and the input. And this is how we initialize the flat picker. So this class is present over here and we can initialize it by passing the class name or the id name like this and it will convert this input into the date picker which you can see here but the problem is that there are duplicates so you can see here the date picker and date picker over here which means that it will add this css and script code to the html multiple times and in this case two times because we have added it two times over here so let us see that let me just inspect it and you can see here script is added over here and here also it is added but ideally we only want the script tag and the css tag so this one css over here we just want them to be added to the html only once and we'll see here how we can do that and also we want the script tag to be at the bottom of the body and the css part to be at the top of the body so here in the head section so let's see how we can do that so first of all we'll go here in the layouts and for the style sheets we'll add here stack styles and here we'll say stack scripts so that whenever we push to this styles then it will automatically be added over here and whenever we push any scripts to this stack then it will be added over here we are adding these to this layout component now let us go to the date picker component and here instead of directly adding these links and scripts let us push to the stack okay here we'll push to the styles like this and these names should be matching with this name and similarly this script should also be matched. So here we'll say push to the scripts and we'll add this inside the push blade directive. So here is the links and here are the scripts. This will not eliminate the duplicates, but of course it is an improvement because we have moved these scripts and styles to their respective places. So now let me just refresh the page over here. And now you can see here this script tag, this one and this one is at the bottom part of the html and these are automatically added by the flat picker library and also if we see here in the head section then you can see these style sheets are over here just above the beat section that we have added over here now let us go ahead and remove these duplicates for that let us go over here in the dead picker now instead of just push we'll say here at the rate once and inside the once and end once blade directives will add this and this once will make sure that this link is pushed only once how many times we call it so here also we'll say once and inside the once blade directive we'll add this so now here how many times we call this dead picker it doesn't matter it will only be rendered once so if we go here in the browser then we can see here this cdn is only present once and this is also only present once and here in the head the flag picker style sheet is also added once which means that we have removed the duplicates from our code and let me also tell you there is one more blade directive by which you can just change these two blade directives into one so instead of push we'll say push once and here also push once and i'll remove this similarly we see here push once and push once over here end push once and again we'll remove this and save it after this if we refresh here then you can see that this flat picker is only added once and on the head also it is only added once and also if we click here then the flat picker is correctly showing and also one thing that i would like to say is so instead of this flat picker as a class you can pass id from here and just push it once the cdn script and this script over here you can add it at the bottom and say push scripts like this 
and add it inside the bread directive and yes you can call push scripts multiple times and every time you push it will add the code the bottom of the previous push and here you can pass the id so in this way the cdn links will be only rendered once but this flat picker initialization can be different as per your application need so that's it for this video guys and thank you for watching have a great day bye